series. Videos in our series help students to get information about GRE TOEFL, how to crack them, how to get the good score in GRE TOEFL. And, and obviously, the information about study abroad in various countries. And today, this video is about study abroad information in Israel. If you have probably heard from your seniors that if you don't appear in GRE or TOEFL, you can't go study abroad for your MS or PhD, it's totally wrong. Believe me, in this video, we are here to enliven your dream about study abroad. And here today with us, Ashmita is here. Hi, Ashmita. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Ashmita. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And our viewers also going fine. Yeah. And Ashmita is so, now currently yeah. pursuing his PhD in Israel, University of Ariel. And she will uh, share the strategy, how can you prepare for uh, PhD? Uh, in Israel without Jerry and Purple. All right. So uh, here she will uh, share the admission timeline, how to approach, how the scholarship opportunities, and everything, everything about Israel. And this is a very exciting video to hear from Ashmita. Uh, Ashmita, uh, can I request to introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, my name is Ashmita. I did my BSc, MSc from Presidents University, Calcutta. Now I'm pursuing my doctorate study in Ariel University, Israel. So, well, I'm going to taking, I'm going to talk about the, the application procedure and everything step by step. So first, uh, the application procedure. Yes. So it's, it's depend from uh, the university's criteria. It's, uh, it, it's vary from university, university. Sometimes uh, the, Sometimes the professor also has their own way of taking the international students. So what we're going to do, we can uh, send a lot of mails to different, different professor whom you want to join, of course. So stating your introduction, whom you are, and the uh, kind of motivation that who, which triggers you to join his or her lab. And, and what else? Um, some basic ideas that uh, what you're going to do after, after joining his or her uh, lab like this so but your cv it, it it's must I, i'm going i'm going to talk the, till this because your cv must be look good it must be proper it should be attractive and basically uh, beautifully organized and um, nicely planned yes so your uh, you, you you can add your uh, every result from secondary high secondary bsc msc and after that, you can add um, MSc projects. You don't have to need. You don't have to explain everything from your MSc project. But you're gonna do like uh, you. You can uh, you can point every single point that uh, what you did in your MSc, and every scholarship that you got already, every achievements of you. It is like you have to show yourself like a potential candidate of uh, in, in his research group. Exactly. Like that. Yes. So your CV, it. your CV must look unique and proper. So if if uh, your professor is impressed by your CV, then he he will ask you for a Skype interview first. And uh, for me, uh, he asked me uh, to do a Skype meet. And after that, uh, after three days, he told me like uh, he is willing to take me. So it's like that. After that, I start the application procedure. So, yeah, Ashmita, I just want to know first uh, uh, one another important thing is what are the universities I can approach? What can be the base for research purpose in Israel? Uh, is, I, I don't know about uh, what are the Israel, you are. know, Israel, you know, I, I think there is seven or eight universities which are already in a world ranking. Israel is that yeah. much advanced, that much technologically advanced and every universities are good. Every universities are good. Every uh, universities are a uh, lot of instrument that uh, you need for your research. And uh, if they don't have, they have the collaboration with another university. You don't have to find any, any problem. You, 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 you cannot complain about them. Like they are that much advanced and that much proper for, according to my view. Yeah, according to my opinion. So um, I think Tel Aviv University is good. Uh, what else? Hebrew University of Jerusalem, good. Barilan, good. Wiseman, good. Um, ben Gurion University of Negev, that, that 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 university is also good. So you can have seven, eight. You can search in Google, and 
seven uh, seven eight universities already uh, i think they are in world ranking so yeah they are they are good and the professors are also they are so much friendly they are that much good from yeah it's according to my opinion only i cannot tell about others but for my opinion they are they are good they are perfect yeah and what about the jerry and travel that's a rumor yeah. that if you don't appear jerry and travel you can't go any outside abroad what yeah. is that so so uh, what you said before in introduction that must not be true for me it is not true for me i need one english proficiency test maybe it's jerry i also travel so for me i get the jerry but uh, but uh, you can try you can try without jerry also here is the trick here is the trick you need to listen it properly yes so here is the trick that you can have a letter from you uh, from uh, that university you already joined from the university you read like uh, you studied so from that university you need to need a letter stating that every courses you joined there is in english so that's also sometimes consider uh, by uh, consider as a english proficiency so you, you like us you don't have to de- do any teaching assistantship here no they will not give you we only are students we don't have work permit here so you don't need to do any teaching assistantship only they want to know that you know english that's it that's it you know english and that's it so for that you can have the gre i'll stop i i all i told everyone that um, it's better to take gre to fl ielts but if you don't have but but that then also you can try with that letter of that university you already joined that you can have that letter and you can send uh, you can send uh, this graduate school to ask that um, i have this i i want to remove all these other criteria i don't have gre so sometimes they consider it also so sometimes they consider it so you can try 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 is the only thing that we can do as a student try yeah but, so jerry toefl ielts is actually not necessary in israel uh, sometimes it matters but uh, for as you, as you can see in our channel uh, jerry is actually not mandatory in now nowadays at least for 2020 or 2021 so don't go for jerry i mean she was made jerry yeah, that's why she go has can for jerry jerry is quite hard now as compared to toefl and ielts yes Uh, GRE is hard for me. It's it, it depends students to students. So uh, if if you have GRE, you can have uh, you can give that much also. So it, it depends. I, I told you it depends. E- every everyone has several experience. Everyone separate in uh, experience in in uh, application procedure. So yeah. Yeah, that's the definition. I, I was just joking. I was just joking. Yeah, yeah. So coming back to our Israel things that oh, mm-hmm. what about the scholarships means uh, whatever yeah. we get normally can manage everything's living expense uh, yeah yeah they they give a lot i, I think after after also you, you, they will give a good accommodation in dorm dormitories so you, you can get everything uh, air condition microwave uh, and every, every single thing fridge refrigerator everything they will give uh they will cut money for also from our salary for that but uh, i don't think so this is much i think uh, you can uh, you can have a great life uh, you can save also uh, after doing everything grocery everything every life expenses uh, I, i think you can manage you, you can manage properly yes it's good amount yeah and next uh, the for application procedure or admission procedure so so for we understood that we have to as like germany we have to just connect first with our professors which okay. i am interested yes. in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah and he or she is uh, interested enough to take me as a graduate student that's all that's all for taking that's, ad- uh, that's uh, that is all that is all actually whenever whenever he or she is willing to take you that is the end of the procedure after that you don't need to bother anything they will send you form and after that you have to fill up and send them back that this is the only process that they will from graduate study uh, you don't have to connect after that with your professor only you need to connect the graduate study graduate study sent you a lot of forms bunch of forms and you have to fill up all of them and send them back all of them and send them back this is the process yeah yeah Yeah, Ashmita, I just want to know that you said that there was a Skype interview uh, when you were talking with the prof. 
So what about they want to know from you, Skyping? I mean, what kind of situations so, I can so face? My professor, my professor uh, is tricky. Not tricky. It, it, actually, actually, you know, whenever you are an international student, they didn't have uh, the connection, like they didn't face to face meet you. So for them, it's very much a need to understand that how much you are good. <laughs> so it's not tricky. It's uh, he is really smart. He told me to send um, MSc pre uh, presentation of my MSc project before. I think two or three days before I sent it to them uh, to him. And after that, when I have the Skype meeting uh, at that time, he uh, asked me question from that MSc project. Wh what I did, what I sent to him, the MSc project, the presentation of my MSc project. Uh, it, it was, I, 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 what I can remember, it was 30 minutes of uh, interview, 30 minutes uh, meet. Um, what he asked, uh, I think it's kind of discussion. Um, uh, he asked me first the question from my MSc project. After that, he told like what uh, what research is going on in his lab, uh, uh, what I want synthesis or anything else like like this. It's after that this kind of in uh, discussion that what I want, what he need, like what he wants from from me li like this. Oh, 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 that time also he. Um, uh, that time or uh, no actually it's kind of discussion no that not that time it's kind of discussion that uh, whatever research is going on and uh, what i want to do synthesis or something else like this yeah as uh, i just want to interpret as from my experience in south korea interview there also the interview goes like that you have to express your interest uh, maybe from the msc projects or whatever previous projects you have done they yeah. only will questions yeah, from yeah. there so uh, they so want to know that only that uh, what you want, what is your interest, and what uh, what the research is going on in his lab. It's like that only. And and lastly, I just want to be very curious uh, about the lifestyle. What about the lifestyle in Israel? <laughs> it's it's nice and. Um, I told you that uh, we we got actually uh, they will get they will give you a perfect accommodation perfect dormitories everything is there. So how much time you how much time you put in your lab? It means how much we have to put in your lab if I go to Israel? This depends also. Like if you want to do uh, from ten to six, it's also all right. If you want to spend the night also, then also okay. it's it, it depends. Like uh, how much time you need to work in the lab they don't pressure you my professor never push me like spend that much time in lab spend the lab. if you have work you have to do things like you want uh, to know the result you you need to put uh, i think i worked i think uh, from 10 10 30 to 7 uh, evening 7 uh, it's like that yeah, so to summarize, the main thing is that you don't need actually GRE or NOFL. You can appear uh, to confirm your... No, uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, but, um, but, but yes, uh, uh, you, you can have GRE or NOFL. If you don't have, then also you can apply with uh, that letter. Like this. Yeah, that's why uh, that's we want to say that you can try once. Uh, yeah, yeah obviously, obviously. So uh, the students watching this video, I obviously tell them that try, try, try. And you can have, try, you can have like this. It is not tough, you can have. Exactly, exactly. I, I feel that uh, getting PhD in abroad is actually quite easy from India. I mean, so in some yes, extent. Uh, because India is very much you know, crowded in outside. So they, they don't interest sometimes to doing research and all, but uh, in India, everyone is willing and, uh, and it's crowded and uh, Every the population is very much higher. Yeah, that's yeah. The yeah so that's the point. Uh, yeah. you, you, can, you have to first approach, like Germany. Okay, you have to first approach to your pop, uh, whichever you are interested in, and then you will have a Skype call where you can have an interview and everything is that. And then you can uh, you can confirm your admissions. Meaning you can say that your admission is confirmed. Now, whatever the other things that is you have said, uh, you have uh, heard from Ashmita that, that the scholarships and every opportunities are very much fine. And you know, the wise man is the rank one the research institute in uh, world is actually in Israel. And the, I think the most important point in the whole procedure is the how to write the mail. First impression is the last impression. How to write the mail to that particular professor when you're writing for the first time. For that, 
we have a particular format. Believe me, if you fo if you follow that format, that is actually validated by GRH, Magash, okay, and various other this type of institutes, and also various IIT and IIT professors. So that we will uh, give some another video. If you follow that, you can get a 95% answers from your professors. Yeah, uh, Ashmita, anything important I'm missing about Israel? No, I, I don't think so. I, Israel is a very, very good country. This is uh, actually they are very much technologically advanced. If you if you want to research uh, here, I, I think it's the best uh, best thing. Oh, uh, you, you don't ask me about the courses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah, for, uh, please. You forgot. You you forgot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The courses. Courses. Um, the four years of uh, we need. We have four years to complete our PhD. And in these four years, we need to take three courses, which is relevant to our research. Um, sometimes uh, you can choose. Sometimes uh, after submitting your research proposal, they, de they decide that which courses you need to take. Your professor or the collaborative professor like that. So <clears throat> they decide that uh, which courses you need to take. But it, it's all right. In, you have to take uh, three courses in four years. It's fine. That's it. Yeah, only three courses, but in India there are six courses, I think. Yeah, yeah that's very nice. Yes, it's, it's three courses in four years. Fine. Yeah, yeah very nice. And uh, and uh, uh, that's all actually for Israel. I just want to finish uh, by thanking uh, Ashmita for sharing the information. That actually, yes, you know, uh, this uh, this type of information actually we don't know as a student, as an MSc student or as a PhD first year student. Uh, but it's very important to know about our spread in the community. And that's why our 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 try uh, to make some things which can help for the students. Yeah, and thank you, Ashma. Thank, thank you very much for welcome, sharing. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's my yeah. pleasure. If you mm -hmm. if you still have any questions, if you still have any questions, be free to comment in our comment box. And uh, she will. She's quite busy as uh, recently, but she will try to uh, answer it if uh, she has the time. And uh, we also try to answer. Yeah, and uh, be very much free to uh, make your questions. And uh, let, uh, it can happen also that you have an important question. And since that question, we can have another video on the next. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Ashmita, and thank you everyone for watching. Welcome. Uh, this is Chan signing out. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.